kaya mi and then an independent alternative media practitioner among other things and it's another brood banter so tara kape tayo actually may init init pa to so <laughs> yeah uh the reason why I'm doing this brood banter is because um of late I am experiencing some kind of burnout that even uh, even cycling, uh, which is supposed to be something that I would love to do as a as a distraction or as a uh, as a way of escaping the the humdrum uh, of uh, everyday life. Cycling has become a chore. And I hate it. No, I hate. I don't hate cycling. I hate the fact that it's becoming a chore. Talagang I would love to enjoy it. Kaya lang uh, recently parang di ko siya na kikita bilang ano eh, bilang isang magandang hobby or er, bilang isang um, masasabi natin na. Um, uh, enjoyable na hobby. I do love cycling. I would really, uh, I would really uh, step on a, uh, uh, step on a bike any given day. I would love to do that. And besides, it has been second nature to me. It's just that I'm experiencing burnout, uh, that, um, especially, uh, especially because I don't just cycle; I also work, and uh, the work-life balance is um, a little bit shaky at this point, and uh, even uh, producing some videos has become an absolute chore. I have decided to uh, take this long weekend as a as a way of seeing where the hell am I going. And honestly, I'm still not decided. It's already Sunday morning by this uh, by this recording. At babalik na naman ako sa uh, I mean, balik na naman sa trabaho sa lunes. So I don't even know where to uh where to go i say yeah it's it's really just you know, it's really just um overwhelming uh i do have tried some uh some stuff and i have actually tried the um, you um the cycle as a way of um Letting out that, uh, letting out that um, existential dread. But then again, kahit yun ano eh, kahit yun medyo na ano ako eh, na hirapan ako. It's basically burnout, and um, I can only. Th- um I can only appreciate it or I do appreciate uh the fact that I've recognized it this early kasi uh in dati talagang talagang hindi ko alam na nagba-burnout na pala ako but now that I am more aware of myself yeah uh it's It's uh it's a two edged sword, uh to say the least. Cause now you know that you're undergoing this, but then again there's this other side na nagsasabi na now do something about it. So yun. 
So this episode of burnout is um, this episode of burnout is um, continuing at, at this moment. So I might take the Sunday off to just rest at home. Maybe um, maybe go out, but hindi na ako magbabike. Or I'll just go to mass, and after that. I'll stay at home all day. Either way, I would just like to tell you that I've already, um, I've already, uh, decided to, um, uh, not upload, um, regular videos or uh, not upload videos on YouTube at this moment, even though I'd love to. Kaya lang talaga, I, I'm taking care of my own mental health because men need help too. And I honestly have been bottling my emotions for the longest time. Kasi yun ang alam ko. Yun ang alam ng mga tao dito. Na if you're a man, uh, you're not supposed to show it. And... Uh, in most cases, I don't. But, yun nga, uh, at this point, I'm, I'm just uh, trying to hold it together. Uh, I have, and aside from a uh, from a personal crisis, there's also a social crisis. And then there's a lot of uh, stuff that's going on. And that kind of sucks. Because I would love to talk, talk about it. Kaya lang, yeah. It, it just, um, it's just not registering at this point. So, uh, I'm not here to give you some mental health advice. Uh, other than um, other than uh, uh, for you to seek professional help I do hope you uh, do that uh, do seek prof- professional help if you need it and um, maybe take some proactive steps as well because uh, it would always depend on you. Yun yung naalala ko. Um, I do have, uh, I do have consulted with a therapist, but, um, I think this is, what I'm experiencing is more than just, um, therapy. Therapy is there, pero, um, I just need more than that. Uh, as you know, as you know, in my previous videos, I've been suspecting a lot of things and uh, I just wanted to um, clear it out at nagkaton pa na isa pa to sa mga pinoproblema ko. So, that's that. And, uh, yun nga, I'm trying to write it down. Journaling helps to a certain point, of course. Um uh, but as someone who has been writing for a living and as someone who has been writing as a as a hobby there are times na bang na filter out mo rin yung ano mo eh na filter out mo rin yung mga sinusulat mo eh because uh they uh you just can't express the raw emo- emotion even if you write it kasi uh babasahin mo din and you'll re- you'll regret it uh the uh, in the uh, in the future but yeah if if you have a notebook write it out wag nyo sariling in at least have that as an output kung hindi nyo, hindi nyo siya ma, masasabi sa mga ano nyo, sa, sa mga mahal mo sa buhay if you're a man recognize that you might need some help 
on certain things. Kasi we do have our breaking points. Even though we are called to uh, to do great things, and rightfully so that we are called to do great things, minsan taking a break or asking for help is uh, is something that is uh, dismissed as uh, you know it's dismissed as uh, uh, a sign of weakness on the contrary it's a sign of strength kasi you've given your all it, it's not working and you just need another another set of hands to push or pull something and it would work and it would absolutely work so please take care of your mental health yun lang naman yung sa akin and um perhaps what contribute what contributes to this catharsis is um that new uh song from Linkin Park not really it's not really a new song pero um it's um one of the one of the tracks that were not I know that were not released in uh, their albums and uh, it just so happens that Meteora will um will have its 20, 20th anniversary um 20th anniversary uh version or um, special uh, or album uh releasing this year kasi it's been 20 years since the Meteora album and it just so happens that this song called Lost is um uh it's it's out now uh it's been released uh, as a single and a lot of people have been crying their uh, crying their eyes out on this and um uh, <laughs> i'm resonating i'm resonating with uh, mike shinoda's um writing here because uh, as you all know, Mike Shinoda is the is the principal songwriter of Linkin Park, and um, and Chester Bennington uh, uh, sings it or uh, has uh, has some uh, help on that. And it seems that all of us have resonated with. Uh, with uh, with the message actually because it's so surreal that that's the topic of that song and then with the context of what happened to Chester Bennington a few years ago it just hit so hard and uh, it really hit so hard kahit ako na Naapektuhan din talaga ako kasi um, I've been listening to them uh, uh, when I was young and I've been influenced by uh, Linkin Park's music more than I can admit. So, that's that. So, yun lang. I'm that's the reason why I'm, uh, I'm having this, uh, having this um, cloud of doubt in my head, in my brain. It's because of that. I just don't know if um, I could ever be able to. Uh, do something other than cycle, but I guess read this. Uh, uh, Joseph Ratzinger's uh, The Spirit of the Liturgy. So uh, this is basically Pope Benedict XVI, one of Pope Benedict XVI's um, works. Nagkataon na 
pumadyak ako sa ano sa SM South Mall kahapon by the time of this recording and uh, did some errands and nagkataon na uh, this is an this is in the shelf of St. Paul's so naisip ko yeah maybe I can maybe I can have a copy of this and read it for the rest of Lent perhaps I can uh, review this perhaps I can review this uh, in the context of the death of Benedict the 16th ahala na Um, no promises if it's gonna be um, if this is gonna be in a, in a future video pero uh, let's um, let's see what happens so yun lang I'm also going to uh, share another video regarding um, some spiritual moral and moral stuff uh pertaining to the Asbury Revival or uh, should I say the Asbury Revival um, that's happening uh, across the Pacific. So um, I'll tackle on that maybe as a podcast podcast episode. I'm not gonna script it but maybe I'll just record it as a podcast episode and then uh, that might be um, one episode for uh, the Adapted Podcast. And uh, in order to uh, prepare or to uh, start Lent properly. So, yun lang naman. Anyway, I've been yapping a little bit too much now. So, I'll just um, finish the rest of this coffee and uh, um, get myself prepared for Mass. For everyone who has been... Uh, who's been struggling with their mental health especially uh, guys who have been struggling about their mental health because they just can't say something to their family, to their friends, to even, even to their loved ones or even to their spouses. I raise a toast to you and uh, I just wanted to let you know that truth's true strength is not just the one that we build in our bodies, but also in our hearts and in our minds. So, I hope you're all well. I raise the toast to you. Cheers. And uh, with all that said, this is Intrepidi and Reunion reminding you to, at all times, Be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive, be kind to yourself and to each other now more than ever. And as always, thank you for watching. From here in Intrepid HQ, perhaps see you in Easter because I'm not going to uh, upload uh, videos for the rest of Lent. So maybe... Uh, see you in Easter. Uh, I hope that you'll have, if you're a Catholic or if you're someone who is a liturgical Christian, I hope that Lent would be uh, a time for you to get um, get yourself sorted because I, uh, I'm doing so myself. So, yeah, from here in the Tepid HQ, see you in Easter. Ian out.